we want to solve the given differential equation using separation of variables. Since we know it's solvable using separation of variables, our first goal is to rewrite the equations so that the y's and dy are on one side of the equation and the x's and dx are on the other side of the equation. So looking at the differential equation, let's go ahead and add sine three x dx to both sides of the equation. That would give us two y cosine cubed of three x dy equals positive sine three x dx. Now looking at the left side of the equation, the two y dy is good, but we don't want this cosine cubed three x on the left side, so we need to divide both sides by cosine cubed three x. So this simplifies to one, so we have two y dy on the left side. And now on the right side, we do only have x's and dx, but notice how we have one factor of sine x in the numerator and three factors of cosine three x in the denominator. And since sine theta divided by cosine theta is equal to tangent theta, we could rewrite this as sine three x divided by cosine three x times one over cosine squared three x. In this form, we should be able to recognize that this would just be tangent three x. And since one over cosine theta is equal to secant theta, this would just be secant squared three x. And of course we have our dx. And now that we have it in this form, we can integrate both sides of the equation. Now on the left side, we could factor this two out, but there's no need to. We'd have two times the integral of y to the first with respect to y. Well, the integral of y to the first with respect to y would be y squared divided by two. So the twos would simplify out, leaving us with y squared. And now for the right side, we're gonna have to perform u substitution to integrate this. Remember the derivative of tangent theta is equal to secant squared theta. So we're gonna let u equal tangent three x. And then for differential u, we're gonna find the derivative of this and then times dx. This is gonna require the chain rule. The derivative of tangent three x is gonna be equal to secant squared three x, which is good news. But now we also have to multiply by the derivative of the inner function. The derivative of three x would be three. And then we have dx. So right now, tangent three x is equal to u, leaving us with secant squared three x dx in our integral. But notice right now it's not a perfect match because of this three here. So let's go ahead and divide both sides by three. So secant squared three x dx is actually equal to one third du. So if we wrote this in terms of u, we'd have one third times the integral of just u du. So we'd have one third times the integral of u to the first, which would be u squared divided by two, or just one half u squared. One third times one half is one sixth. And then for u squared, since u is equal to tangent three x, we'd have tangent squared three x plus our constant of integration. And that last step here is gonna to be to take the square root of both sides of the equation. Let's do that on the next slide. And again, because we have y squared here, we know y can be positive or negative. So that leaves us with y equals plus or minus the square root of one sixth tangent squared three x plus our constant of integration. Okay, I hope you found this example helpful. Thank you for watching.